Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide. Today we will learn how to deploy Spring Boot web app into EC2 by Jenkins CI CD. The architecture we will be using that we have our Spring Boot web app already developed. If you want to know how to develop a Spring Boot web app, you can check my past tutorial videos for that. We have pushed that web app project into GitHub repository. We will pull that project from GitHub repository by Jenkins and we'll build that. And after creating the deployable, we will push that deployable means that dot wire file to EC2. And in our EC2, we have already installed Apache Tomcat. If you want to know how to set up and install, Apache Tomcat in EC2, you can check our past tutorial videos as well. So let's go and configure Jenkins. As prerequisites of this tutorial, you should have a Jenkins installation, one AWS account and Tomcat installation. For Jenkins installation and Tomcat installation, I have my prior tutorial videos. You can check those videos or if you have the installation already, then you can follow this tutorial. As you see, I'm logged in into my AWS management console and my EC2 instance is running for the Tomcat and Tomcat is here and it is running on 8080 port. Since I have my Jenkins in a different virtual machine and my Tomcat installation in a separate virtual machine. That's why I have kept the port 8080. But if you are installing Jenkins as well as Tomcat in the same virtual system, then you should change the port. Otherwise, it will conflict. Now let's go to Jenkins. It is my Jenkins, which is up and running. So first, we will configure Jenkins to build and deploy a Spring Boot web app to EC2 instance. So first thing, let's go to manage Jenkins because we have to install one plugin over here. Scroll down, click on manage plugin, click on available and search here for deploy to container. Yes, this is the one. Click here and Click over install without restart. Now let's go to Jenkins dashboard. And here we have to create one job for deploying the work file to EC2. So let's create on new item, given name. Click as Maven project. Click OK. Go to source code management. And as I told that our project is in GitHub repository. So I'm selecting GitHub, Git here. And let's go to our GitHub repository. You can take the project directly from here for your practice purpose. And it is under github.com slash AWS tech guide slash spring dash web app repository. So just click on clone or download button and copy this URL. Go back to Jenkins and paste it here. Since it is public repository, we do not need to add any credential. Just scroll down in build form goal, just add package. And in build post build setting, click on here and you will get deploy war or ER to container. Click on that. Yes. Here you get this war or ER files configuration. But before doing that, let me cross it and click on save. We want to see that whether it is able to pull from our Git repository and able to build it or not. So let's go and click on build now.
click on build number click on console output it has started building and build is success and it has stored the build under target folder so it will be our target folder name and the word file is web app dash zero dot zero dot one snapshot dot w a i so let's copy it just now go back to our job again click on configure scroll down go to post build action click on the same option deploy word here to a container now here we have to give this file location it is target slash web app dot word now context path is the same as the word name here so you just give the context path click on add container and as we have set up the tomcat 8 in our separate ec2 instance so we are creating uh, clicking this tomcat 8.x remote here it is asking for credential and as well as tomcat url so we will add this credential here we don't have the tomcat credential as of now the other two credential which you see if you are following our devops series you know that we have added this credential for separate purpose but now we have to first we are adding tomcat url so let's go to tomcat here is our tomcat i'm just copying this url go back here and pasting this url here and we have to add this url um, credential over here so click on jenkins and we have to add username password id and description so let me show you where you will get the tomcat username and password once you have set up your tomcat in ec2 instance in my ec2 instance where the tomcat is running i am already logged in and here under conf folder tomcat dash users dot xml so let me just open it scroll down and you will see that we have created these two users the username tomcat is linked with manager dash gui it is for your login to the manager app in apache tomcat but when you are deploying your deployable to uh, from jenkins to tomcat you need this role for manager dash script and it is with the username deployer and password is also deployer so we are going back to our jenkins setup and we are adding deployer same as password for now and here let me give a name tomcat tomcat just click add here now select this tomcat deployer here click on save we have done our Jenkins job configuration, but before we build it this time, let me tell you that since we are deploying a Java project, so in your Tomcat server, you should have the Java correct version installed. So I am here at EC2, the Tomcat server where we have installed. Now check your Java version here, Java dash version. Here we have Java version that is open JDK version 1.8.0. Yes, because the Java version I used for developing that Spring Boot web app was 1.8. But if you don't install 1.8 separately, then by default, it is Java 1.7 installed in your EC2 instance. You may get the error due to that. So before deploying and starting the build, uh, the deployment job, please check what is your Java version. And if you want to know 
the which java version just type this java dash version and you will get to know so now let's go back to the jenkins job configuration once again scroll down as we configured this year file context path and the containers containers we are using tomcat 8 because we have yeah, installed our apache tomcat 8.5 in ec2 instance one thing i have just modified which is you may have seen that target dash web app test dot where web app test dot where that is the name the final name you can define in pom.xml let me take you to the pom.xml it is the spring web app repository as i told you you can get it under github.com slash aws tech guide slash spring dash web app and go to pom.xml by default the word name will be your project name that is that is project name web app dash your version name so it is bit bigger web app dash 0.0.1 slash snapshot so if you add your final name under build so your dot or will be your web app test name it is definitely a small name to handle so that's why i have just put this final name as project dot name test and we have configured it and that's the reason it is target slash web app test dot work your context path is always your word name and now just ring it again and click on build now build was success now it is trying to deploy it and deployment was successful as you see that it took from the target app test dot work now let me show you from where this web app target app test dot work is coming because it is coming from workspace folder and where is the workspace folder if you go back to your job here is the workspace click on that here under target click on target here you get all this work file so this is the one which has been created by web app test dot work earlier when we just did the maven build it created web app dash 0.0.1 snapshot dot work and after that when i changed the word name by the final name with web app test dot work it started creating this okay so it is the time to go to our tomcat copy this link open it in a new browser and give the context path web app test click enter definitely there is nothing because the web application we made we created a gate mapping which is home so after context path you have to add home or the gate mapping you provided and click enter and it's saying it is working if you find any error in build or your success page is not coming then just go back to your ec2 console where your tomcat is installed go back to the tomcat folder or the installation folder whatever name you have given so it is your in my case it is tomcat inside tomcat you will find there is a log folder go to logs inside log if you list all the files you will find catalina dot out okay so you will do tl minus f catalina dot out and put it enter make some spaces give more enter and now you go back to your jenkins click build now it has started building now you 
check your console because whatever the log will be generated at runtime it will show you here so you can monitor the build process from this console over here if you encounter any exception you can find it because because most of the time at jenkins the error doesn't show you properly so today we have learned how to deploy a spring boot web application into aws ec2 where you have installed your tomcat server thank you for watching this tutorial see you in our next lecture <music>